Hi, today we are going to discuss about MapReduce programming. So what is a MapReduce programming? It is a processing technique or a programming model that helps in processing distributed data. Our huge amount of data can be processed in parallel and that helps in distributed computing. So before discussing today's topic, we'll have a small recap about the previous video what we have discussed. So in the previous video, we have discussed about the Hadoop core components. So the core components are HDFS, HDFS is meant for storage and MapReduce is the core component for supporting the computational part. So today our aim is to discuss about this MapReduce programming. So it is a computational framework and it splits the big job into small independent tasks and this independent task will be processed in parallel. So it provides a massively parallel processing architecture and it processes the data in parallel because of that we can complete the task in much lesser time. So that is what we are going to discuss today. So this MapReduce programming or the MapReduce program contains two important tasks. One is the map task and the other one is the reduce task. The main function of the map task is to convert the input into the key value pair. And the reduce task what it does is it combines the output from the mapper and it summarizes the result from the mapper and it produces the reduced result and that will be given to the client. So this is the overall view about MapReduce programming and now with the small card game we are going to see a demonstration about how this MapReducing program works. In this card game the aim is to find out the number of cards in each suit and here we have 30 cards. Assume that without map reducing concept, if we do that by a single processor, so first what it has to do is the different type of cards needs to be separated. So that is what done by a single node. Assume that there is only one node and there are four types of cards, heart, diamond, spade and club. So these cards are separated first and this joker is an invalid card so that has been kept aside. And then the count of each card needs to be found out. So by each from the each type of card the count has been calculated. For spade, the count has been calculated. So it is 9. And then for diamond, the count is calculated. Then for hotel. Then for club. So individually by a single machine, it has been done. Now we'll see using MapReduce how it has been done. So we know that there will be a name node that is the master node and in this example we have three data nodes and to these three data nodes the data are split and assigned. So data node 1, data node 2 and data node 3. So each data node will process the data simultaneously. So now we will see how the processing is taking place parallelly. The same operation, the task is split into small set of uh, data and parallelly the same task has been done by three nodes. So individually each node splits the data into different types of cards and then the counting is also done by each data node 
parallelly. So data node 1 has been separated all the cards. So parsing has been done. According to MapReduce concept, the key value pair has been generated. And now we'll see how this counting has been done parallelly. So for each type of card, counting has been done parallelly by each data node that is data node 1, data node 2 and data node 3. So this joker is an invalid card that has been kept aside. So parallelly the count has been calculated. The output of the mappers will be given to the reducers. Here we have two reducers. Reducer 1 and reducer 2. The count of spade and club has been given to reducer 1 and the count of heart and diamond has been given to reducer 2. We can have any number of reducers. Here we have used two reducers. And the total count of each type of card will be combined and the total count will be calculated by the reducers. And then the overall result will be combined by the reducers and the overall result will be given to the user or the client. In the previous demonstration using the card game, the aim is to find out the number of cards in each suit in the deck of cards. Now we will see how it has been done. So when you give a huge block of a huge amount of data that will be splitted into small block of data and that will be given to the mapper so the mapper it generates the key value pair so individually each mapper will create its own key value pair of its own data and this output will be given to the reducer and this reducer what it does is it summarizes the output it summarizes the result which is given from the mapper and the reduced output reduced result will be given to the client so the input to the reducer is the mapper and how many mappers you wanted to have and how many reducers you wanted to have that depends upon the application and the programmer the programmer can decide how many mappers you wanted to have and how many reducers you wanted to have so here when you see, when you give the deck of um, cards in the example that we have discussed previously. So in each node it will be, uh, in each node it will be find out what is the number of uh, cards in heart, what is the number of nodes in spade etc. And then that count, that count will be given to the reducer. So the first reducer contains the count of heart as well as the diamond. The second reducer contains the count of spade as well as the club. Uh, club. And finally, uh, it combines this result and that will be given to the user. So this is how the map reduce programming works. I hope you would have understood in a better manner uh, with this small demonstration. So whenever you give a huge amount of data, if it is done in parallel, that can be done very quickly. So that is the main idea behind this map reduce programming. Because see in this example, the card may be small, it may be done by the number of cards may be very less and it may be done by a single person. But to explain the concept only, we have taken this example. Normally in real world application, the amount of data will be very huge. So this architecture uh, in Hadoop, this MapReduce architecture, this MapReduce uh, programming in Hadoop, it helps very much. So that is the main advantage of this MapReduce programming. So now we'll see the summary about this. So we have discussed about what is a mapper and what is a reducer. So mapper it generates the key value pair, the reducer. It summarizes the result from the mapper and gives the output. 
so before that what it does is it shuffle and sort the result which is given from, uh, from the mapper and finally it summarizes the result and give it to the uh, client or the user and also we have discussed uh, an example using the card game i hope this video might be helpful to you thank you